the 4680 Tesla Model Y update we didn't expect. Tesla just announced a new Model Y SUV featuring the newest and greatest in electric car design and battery technology, but you can't buy one. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. A limited edition Model Y featuring the cutting edge 4680 battery cell design and structural battery pack architecture, as well as a twin electric motor powertrain that delivers Tesla's famed immediate torque to all four wheels, is now being produced at Tesla's brand new Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. The car can drive a maximum distance of 279 miles thanks to this technology. It reaches a top speed of 135 miles per hour and accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds. This is accomplished with the use of a regular 19-inch wheel and a 5-seat arrangement, all for a low price of $59,990. This is a good price when compared to the current Tesla Model Y long range. It has a range of 330 miles, a top speed of 135 miles per hour, and a 0 to 60 time of 4.8 seconds, and hasn't altered since its release in 2020. Let us have a debate about it. So, there's a lot of speculation going on here, and we'll attempt to address it as objectively as possible. Why bother reporting on something you have no knowledge of? I'm sure it's a question that many of you are asking right now. And you're correct, but the fact is that everyone else is doing it, so we must as well. We'll just do it better. But like with all of our videos, we'll attempt to be as instructive as the material provided permits. So stay with me till the end, because we're going on a journey. Starting from the top. Although if you really like this car, but won't be able to purchase it since Tesla employees can only buy the all-new Model Y standard twin motor, which is made in Texas. Every Giga Texas vehicle supplied thus far has gone straight into the eager hands of a company insider, which is why real details about these goods have been few and far between, and you have to comb YouTube for information on the subject. Starting with employees makes great sense because the facts as they stand make this a difficult decision for the general public. Do we, the customers, want to have $3,000? A difficult question is that this dispute goes a little deeper than just the numbers because Tesla enthusiasts know that the new standard two-motor unit has the 4680 batteries. These are the batteries about which we've been raving for the past year and a half, even agonizing over the delight of knowing that they were in our new car. Our particular new car, which is slightly slower and can only drive a fraction of the distance of the old car. We already know that the 4680 battery has a lower initial resistance than prior cells due to the unique tablet design, and as a result, will achieve substantially faster charging rates than ever before, mitigating the drop in total range. Depending on where you live and how many superchargers are available, this may be accurate. Despite the fact that the EPA rating, the video from Giga Texas displaying the range on the screen, and the source code from the Tesla website all confirm that figure, this appears to be a mistake. Imagine if Apple spent a year hyping up a new battery they had invented and then launched it with a message like, check out our new iPhone battery. It doesn't last as long, but it's slightly cheaper. We can at least claim that we understand why Tesla has done what they have done. So let's get back on track and become practical. As previously noted, the Tesla 4680 battery cell is a completely new product design. It's not like Tesla just switched from triple to double A's. Rather, they went from a well-known in the Panasonic 2170 cell to a well-known unknown with their own unique cell design. You can't just Leroy Jenkins your way into the realm of battery manufacturing without a few L's thrown in for good measure. For example, we are taken away by the speed and volume of the 4680 production line when we first saw it at Battery Day in September 2020, saying to ourselves, holy smokes, they're just giving her what the cell's in there. But that was not the case. Elon would have a billion of those devices in no time. Through the movie, something was moving really swiftly, but it wasn't completely functional battery cells. Tesla only revealed in February 2022 that it had produced 1,000,000 cells, with a goal of 2 million by the end of March. Now, 1 million cells isn't trivial, but in perspective, 1 million cells is roughly enough to manufacture 1,000 copies of the Model Y long range. This is our first hint as to why they've produced this odd kneecap Model Y exclusively for the 4680 deployment. Less range equals fewer cells inside the car, which makes sense because they can build more cars with fewer cells. It's possible that I won't like it, and you won't like it either, but it makes sense. Manufacturing a new product at scale isn't as simple as flipping on a switch, and everything happens at once. It's a step-by-step -step procedure. Tesla is doing the best they can with what they have. They're just getting the machine up and running, which is one step, and they're doing a smart thing by giving the first cars to their own staff, who are already familiar with the story. 
Tesla will eventually run out of highly rewarded employees who can afford a $60,000 car, forcing them to sell some to the general public. They don't need this long explanation for why the stats are all inaccurate. This is where things become tough, but Tesla has handled it effectively by lowering the prices while balancing manufacturing numbers and battery supply. Tesla is managing consumer expectations in the most respectful manner possible, ensuring that individuals who have already ordered or received a Model Y do not feel as though they have missed out on something altogether new. People who receive the new standard Model Y will be thrilled since that is either the car they chose based on price or the car they chose based on range, and they may feel like they got a wonderful bargain because they got the car with the longer range. In principle, everyone wins after spending the preceding six months to a year on a stupid waiting list. This eliminates the Osborne effect, which occurs when customers hesitate to acquire a current product because they feel it will become obsolete soon. If you know that a superior automobile will be available soon, you will now want the car that is now on the market, resulting in a decline in order quantities, which is terrible for business. Tesla has never had this issue because each new product they produced has been quite clearly differentiated, thus it's unlikely that someone will wait for the Cybertruck before purchasing a Model Y. For the first time, Tesla has two distinct products, both dubbed Model Y, that appear to be similar on the exterior, yet differ significantly on the inside. They're on the verge of an Osborne effect. First and foremost, the price of the Model Y standard dual motor will be significantly reduced. When that starts to become a reality, I'd set a price target of roughly $55,000. So they'll have to keep things cool for a while, and then, once Tesla has figured out this Gigafactory thing a little better, they'll be ready to go. After the global supply chain disaster has passed, I believe we will witness two things. Tesla will release a new long-range Model Y that has significantly more than 330 miles of range with the 4680 battery and the structural battery pack fully optimized. And without supply constraints, they should be able to get the Model Y up to around 400 miles of range. I believe the price of that car will remain above $60,000. It will not come down but you will get more car for the money. And as a bonus, they will release a new Model Y performance that is insanely fast with incredible handling, like being able to easily smoke a Lambo on a curvy track. Maybe they'll go with a Model Y Plaid, but something wild. That way, Tesla would have two very appealing vehicles at two distinct price points, with perhaps a crazy rocket ship version thrown in for good measure. At that point, the Giga Texas will be running faster than a greased weasel and demand won't be an issue because there will be plenty of cars to go around. So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Also like, subscribe and share our channel and stay tuned with us till our next video. We will see you soon with our next video so be with us and go watch Elon Musk just revealed the insane new $5,000 Tesla car video on your left to see some positive aspects about it as well. Or you can also watch Tesla Model Y 4680 battery will change everything on your right and learn more about the Tesla world. Thank you so much for watching.